So this guy's in bad shape. He's got his neck, he's got the back of his head ripped open pretty bad. <laughs> Watching the roosters, you know, they didn't mess with anybody else, but with him, they were basically treating him like he was a hen. They were trying to, to mount him. And... <laughs> some of it's probably dominance thing, some of it's that they're, he's young and didn't know how to fight back. For defense, he really just would hide in, in, in the fence itself and then he would jump over top of it. And so before we hit night here, it's starting to get dark. I'm gonna get some blue coat on the, the back of the head just to protect it, take away the blood, and then we'll start to work on the eye and the rest of the head tomorrow. <laughs> He's coming to me. Oh, guys. Uh, if you have chickens, you'll end up with some roosters. And we've had some bad ones over the years. Oh, no. Does he hurt you? When they start attacking us or the kids, they've got to go. Come on, buddy. Did he hurt you? Did he hurt you? But a year or two ago, we started separating out the extra roosters into their own flock, where they could remain on the farm but not harass the hens. But now we have a second rooster flock with younger roos that we have started moving up to the main flock and the older Put rooster in flock. Your pen, probably, right? So they go all the way into They're the all in. yeah. So they go into the nesting box. I just have to get But the older roosters are not taking kindly to their new flock mates, which presents a problem that we need your help to solve. This guy's getting all sliced up. And while everyone is doing pretty well, this one guy, he just got incredibly beat up. So let's take a look at him and see if we can patch him up, get him healed and help him lead a normal life here. So the blue coat is a disinfectant and then it will help change the color of it so that if we have him with another chicken, they won't be picking on the blood. And I've got another chicken to add this one okay. in with. I'm hoping that they'll leave each other alone because they're both recovering from injuries. That blue coat, man, is gonna stain my hands as well here. So on the back of the head here, this was all red before. Yeah, it is opened up a little bit, but I'm hoping that I'm hoping that this will give the rooster a chance to grow some new skin right over the top here. The second do is new home. Now in our last video where we moved the IM Chimani chicks outside, we moved them right here and they're doing well inside there. Still getting down to freezing every night and they're having no issues. And then we cleared out the four chickens that we had in here. We moved the turk and rooster to the duck area and then the hens, we moved back to the young chicken flock. So I'm gonna go in there. Come on in. Come on in. So he's got his eye open, that's good right now. I had seen it pretty swollen before and he wasn't opening it, so I'm glad to see that. This Splash Americana, you can see the back there was red. I actually saw some footage when I was editing the last video where she was uh, pecking on one of the other hens that we had moved back in there, but turns out her tail was getting pecked as well. So we're just trying to keep them all from, from hurting each other, but I'm hoping in here for now that they'll leave each other alone. If she causes any problems and picks on any of his injury, then we'll move her out of here. Uh-huh. Whoa, what are all these boxes? We got a shipment in. So today's video is sponsored by Teemu, and we're gonna open up all these boxes and show you what we got. Are you ready? Yeah. Teemu is an online marketplace that offers the most competitively priced products in tools, home, toys, and other categories. A drone! They're having a site-wide sale with savings up to 90% off with free shipping and free returns for up to 90 days. It's a sick appetizer! <laughs> <laughs> this electric screwdriver bit will move at an angle if your space is tight. Only $3.29 on Timu. And we're screwing in an outdoor solar sensor light for our young chicken flock that costs just $9.29. These right angle woodworking clamps are 657 and are very handy to help me put together bee equipment. And the two other tools I like are the cobalt step bit drill set to help me drill through metal for 1149. And this combination ratchet wrench that allows me to screw in bolts at any angle required for 449. In the home, we have this new dish drying rack for all of our dishes that costs 3199. And we use this kitchen strainer basket set to strain our fruit before eating it for $5.99. And then we can vacuum seal the food in this vacuum sealer for just $13.99. When the boys go out for chores at night, they have a new headlamp that has all kinds of light on it. It's rechargeable and costs just $5.49. We have a new light in the house with this RGB floor lamp that changes colors and costs $19.29. And Becky has some comfy loafer sneakers to wear around the house. And does she look great in them for $14.29. The kids have been playing with this fun RC stunt car that moves in all directions for $39.99. You guys like playing with that car? Yeah. 
So just download the Teamu app through my link in the description to get an extra 30% off. You can also type my code WHH100 in the product search bar to claim a $100 coupon bundle. And new users can also get an exclusive deal and purchase this drill set for just $1.14. So in the past couple days, we've moved a lot of our roosters around to different flocks. This is the young rooster flock right here. There's a couple Indio Gante roosters. And we've been working to get the, the numbers down in this flock. And you might be asking, why are you hanging on to roosters? Some of you will know that a homesteader, a farmer, can't really uh, afford to have too many roosters. Too many roosters will cause overbreeding, will cause hens to get pecked, will cause lots of fighting. But then there's the whole camp of, hey, I don't wanna see any chickens die. I don't wanna see anybody slaughtered. And so that's really why we eventually started rooster flocks. These are mostly hens. There might be a few roosters in here. And as we get any hens in here, we move them right over to this young rooster flock over here. And since we got grief from a number of people for doing away with, butchering, processing some of our roosters, we said, okay, well, let's demonstrate what would happen if we go ahead and hang on to every animal that we hatch, if we hang on to all the roosters. You're gonna have behavioral issues where you're gonna have roosters with roosters. You're gonna have roosters overbreeding. In this instance, we've got a couple of roosters with our ducks. So when we have the issues of too many roosters, when we deal with predators like we did earlier in the year where we had to dispatch a bobcat and a fox, when we have things that throw our farm out of balance or put more of our animals in danger, we've gotta be able to deal with it. But these rooster flocks, we basically decided to put them together to prove a point. Yes, it can work, but yes, it causes problems too. And so when we added a couple of roosters over to our main rooster flock over here, this is the this is the omelet egg loo coop. And most of the roosters do really well in here. Tucking themselves in for the night, I'm gonna go ahead and close their door here. But today we had an incident. One of our five or six roosters over here, they were picking on them and they would not leave them alone. The good thing is, is that it's just a physical wound. We stepped in in time and this we can, work on it and hopefully can heal in about one to two weeks. about our calf, Paisley, if she was able to get enough milk from Maisie, because Maisie just, she doesn't produce enough for us to even get any from her to milk. And here she is over with Poppy and Dolly. She's trying to get some milk over here and Dolly will kind of allow it, but she's kind of resistant to it as well. All right, so our rooster, we had to take the other hen out because she was, even though she had healed, she was kind of pecking on his neck a little bit, so. We didn't like seeing that. Now he's by himself. Observed him yesterday and he looks like he's doing all right. He's still kind of backing up strange. I think that's a spatial issue with his his eyesight. And I think things are, are going well with his, his eyes and his back of his head are healing all right. So we're gonna start to let him out here in this area so at least he's <laughs> able to get some sunlight, move around. I think that'll actually help him recover a lot quicker to get uh, more movement, more sunlight on him. So Becky, we've had rooster flocks now for what, a year or two years now? I think two years. I haven't really had an issue with the main rooster flock. But. I think if they start out together and grow up together, they do way better than to add a few of them in at one time. They kind of pick on those new ones and just beat them up. So what do you think the plan is going forward with the, the rooster flocks or ever merging them? There's pros and cons to having rooster flocks. A lot of people think that it's easy just to keep these roosters forever, but you're just feeding these animals that really don't benefit too much. Um, if you butcher them and eat them, that's a benefit. 
but these roosters, some of them don't have a whole lot of meat on them, especially these uh, Indio Gantes are real skinny and thin, and so you'd have to cook a couple of them up for a meal. So you're feeding these roosters up all winter for just little or no benefit. <laughs> So we have two final things. We've got some chickens in our young chicken flock that are just, they are full size and they are ready to go to the main flock. And we are at daytime and we get a lot of heat for not moving them at night. And sometimes we do, sometimes we don't. To film it with a video, we're gonna have to do it during the day. And so we move them into the coop. Usually it goes all right, and especially if we move a lot of them at once, it takes the heat off them where they don't get picked on. So we're gonna move the chickens over and then we'll talk to you about the rooster problem. You've seen our new Iam Shimanis, but this is one of the two that we hatched out that had the, the five toes, not a good Iam Chimani, and now starting to get this green and white feathering through the neck, not a good trait. So these Iam Chimanis are quite the mix and not real Iam Chimanis. Well, don't go over the same time. So we're gonna let them go inside. If we just let them outside in the yard, they won't know where they go, and maybe they'll just stay in here for the night. We can have this. All right, so we need to talk about roosters because it seems like no matter what we pick, we lose. A significant group of people are unhappy no matter what we pick. If we do nothing, let them beat up the other chickens, the other roosters, we're wrong and we should have stepped in. Butcher, if we process any of the roosters, then we're being cruel and we're not letting them just live out their natural lives. If we harm the predators that attack our animals, that kill our chickens, we're being cruel because that's just the circle of life and they need to eat too. These are all the, the things that we deal with when we get comments that it seems like we can't make anybody happy with our decisions. So at this point, it's kind of a choose your own adventure. We're gonna put some options out there and you guys can let us know what you'd like to see on our farm. If you want us to do nothing, we'll just leave everybody how it is. When we have to move chickens around, if they get beat up, they get beat up. If you want us to get rid of or separate out the problem roosters, how would you like to see that done? Do you wanna see them just free range out in the pasture, go roost in trees at night, and then ultimately probably get eaten by a predator or wander off somewhere else. If you'd like us to butcher them and just cut our numbers down because there's a problem, let us know that. And so you can let us know down in the comments. We'll also probably create a community post poll that will have those options. Do nothing, free range them, AKA feed the predators or butcher them ourselves. What would you like to see as a solution to too many roosters and mean roosters? We'll put the decision in your hands. So in this rooster flock, if you want to know numbers, so in the rooster flock, we have five roosters in our main flock, we now have three roosters. In the turkey flock, we have Shammy. In our bantam flock, we have one. We have Fabio, the silky rooster. In our ducks, we have two roosters, one of them being the, the turkin. He got beat up a little bit, and now he's recovering in the duck flock. We have one in the Indio Gante flock. And then over here in the rooster flock, we've got seven here, and then two over here, so we have nine. So on our farm, we have 22 roosters. When you should have one for every 10 hens to breed and take care of them properly, Properly, you're at like one to every three hens, and that's just way too many. So, what do you think the solution is? Let us know. Can you carry two? Yeah. What's he doing, Becky? Uh, he's being shady. I don't like it. Getting too close to me. <laughs> So this is our Bruges fighter rooster. 
we end up having to bring them over here when all of our Bruce fighters, we lost like two or three of them one night to a predator and we've got one rooster here and then we've got one hen in the main flock. If we ever get more of them, then we can have a Bruce fighter flock again. He's being a little suspect right now where I'm not sure if he's gonna attack us or, or what he's doing. You think he's gonna get me? Ooh. 